एंड वेलकम टू टूडेज वीडियो टूडेज वीडियो इज समथिंग आई हैव स्ट्रेंजली नेवर डन बिफोर आई हैव नो आइडिया हाउ दिस हैपन एंड हाउ आई वेंट सो लॉन्ग इन टू नेवर डूइंग लिपस्टिक ड्यूब्स सो टूडेज वीडियो इज ए ड्यूब्स वीडियो इफ यू गाइज डोंट नो अ ड्यूब्स आर लेट मी गिव यू द लो डाउन ड्यूब्स आर बेसिकली हाई एंड लिपस्टिक्स एंड देन गिविंग यू बजट लिपस्टिक्स दैट आर आई द रियली सिमिलर टू दैम रियली क्लोज टू दैम इन सम केसेज identical to them with shade that may not necessarily be the case with texture with a lot of them but with shades they are definitely like as close as possible um at least for me today i've gone through my entire lipstick collection and put together 10 pairs of dupes that's 10 high end lipsticks matched as closely as possible from my collection with affordable drugstore lipsticks the reason i wanted to do this was so that those of you who want to go shopping on a budget can go out there and shop without compromising on the shades you want and the shades you're looking for when i was in college i would like always look at affordable and drug store lipsticks in fact a lot of times i still prefer those not gonna lie so i feel like finding that balance in your vanity is great and i'm really grateful for the fact that i have that with me now and i have sitting in front of me all of these lipsticks that i'm about to share with you we will do swatches and i will show you and i will tell you a little bit about the texture I will also give you price point details obviously and brand details. So I really hope this ultra affordable budget friendly drugstore lipstick dupes video lands up being helpful for you. Let me not make this intro any longer. My cat is very jumpy today. If you see her jumping around just say how cute and let it be. Please don't give me hate over my cat. She's adorable. Okay, let's not make this intro any longer and let's dive right into it. For the first pair I have the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Back in Vogue and then I have the Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick from Nykaa in the shade Goals. Now in terms of shade they're barely 0.1 sort of you know 0.1 um measure inch centimeter 0.1 bits um apart but um nibbles is still here by the way but in terms of texture i should tell you a little bit the liquid lipstick over here from mac dries down completely matte whereas this is a demi matte lipstick in terms of long lasting naturally because this one is super like i won't call it drying in nature but i will recommend that you use a, a primer a little before it or a moisturizer a little before it for sure but it's not like drying it won't dehydrate your lips um this one has a little more of a creamy finish because of which naturally it does lose to the transfer proofability of the mac but of course keeping the price point in mind i do feel like this makes for a brilliant dupe for this one going over to pair number 2 For the high end lipstick I have Kat Von D over here in the shade Bachelorette and for the dupe I have Lakme's 202 Pink Million. Now if you go to see this is actually a liquid lipstick versus a bullet lipstick so there is bound to be a slight difference in texture. Liquid matte lipsticks always dry out to be just one block. They make your lip look like one full unit. Whereas you will see a little more texture on your lip with a bullet lipstick which is bound to happen. Uh barring that in terms of the colors i feel like they did a superb job of matching each other there is obviously a proper price difference between the two as well when it comes to long lastingness i have to tell you that the kat von d lasts really nice and long i have barely needed a touch up through the day when i've worn any of kat von d's lipsticks i think i have two or three of these um and they last through food they last through water glass drinks whatever you say with the lakme absolute i was very pleasantly impressed this also does last really nice and long no bullet out there will really last as long as a liquid lipstick because i just feel the formulas are so different when they uh, when they're constructed when they're formulated but it does a really good job in how long it lasts and the colors here are beautiful if you are around my skin tone and you're looking for a nice beautiful bold pink i'm recommending this one to you okay time for pair number 3 I have for the high end lipstick Mary Jo K from Kylie Cosmetics and for the dupe I have Modern Auburn from Sugar Cosmetics. You guys have seen me do a full swatch video of uh, Sugar. I will go ahead and link that in for you guys if you haven't seen it already. 
Now these are both liquid lipsticks but one really noteworthy point is that the sugar one is really nice and creamy whereas as much as I love the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks I love them uh, at some point if you're not wearing a lip balm or a moisturizer or a primer you will start feeling that your lips are dry I naturally have dry lips which definitely adds to the situation for me but this formula will make your lips feel a tad bit heavy if you have not gone in prepared i'm just going to put that out there both the shades are pretty pretty similar the price points obviously are wide apart especially if you're looking for kylie cosmetics here in india which you don't get i feel like sugar makes for a brilliant dupe in terms of transfer proofability naturally the kylie one will last longer because it's a proper matte liquid lipstick whereas sugar comes with a creamy formula which feels nice on the lips and very weightless um but because it's creamy it is going to leave just a tad bit every time you eat something or drink something just going to put that out there also all right it's time for nudes with the next one i have trends hada from huda beauty which is a really really popular shade i wear this pretty often myself and then for its dupe i have madras kapi from nika these make for a brilliant brilliant match when it comes to the shade but naturally the price points are far apart with the huda beauty i want to say that it does not budge okay so the huda beauty entire matte range does not budge it is weightless you will not feel like you're wearing anything on your lips it is not drying but it's beautifully set into your lips so i feel like this money is definitely worth it because i just love huda beauty's matte liquid lipsticks having said that coming to our dupe over here A dupe over here also lasts very nice and long, but at the same time, uh, it can't compare with the Huda when it comes to how long it can last. But I feel, considering the price difference, you don't mind going in and doing a couple of touch-ups a day if you're looking for a dupe in the market. They both have a very similar texture. They are very matte. I do feel that the Huda is a little more pigmented naturally, um, but I feel like when it comes to the dupe category, this. product over here madras kapi has a great job in uh drying down matte the same way leaving the color on your lips the same way and lasting nice and long too pairing number 5 we have another one of the mac retro matte liquid lipsticks in the shade carnivorous which for sure you guys have seen me wear a few times which goes with color bars exposed from their sinful matte collection now here once again you see a liquid lipstick pegged against a bullet but these two are shades that genuinely look so similar uh they do look very 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 similar they're both dark they're both very long lasting also by the way this series of bullet from kalaba is just absolutely amazing they do both last really nice and long i want to say that there's a huge bonus that the bullet lipsticks have against the rmll series from mac because they're not as drying out these are really nice and creamy even though they are very matte finish and dry out is completely matte but they don't make your lips feel dry at all Okay, I'm quickly going to show you a little peek of what these five lipsticks in particular looked like on my hand while I was swatching them so you get a proper close up of them just so that if there's any lighting or anything that's going wrong in the white frame you get to see that from the close up shots. On to pair number 6. I have yet another Huda Beauty in the Mac Liquid Lipsticks over here in the shade Bombshell and now it's pitched against Pack which is in the shade Coral Peel. These are really like nude nudes. There is a tad bit of a difference in their shade, but they're both really beautifully matte. Naturally, the Huda is much more matte than the Pack one, but the Pack one actually also is really beautiful. It has a little bit more of a creamy texture, which might make it lose points against the transfer proofability to Huda, but it feels really nice and soft on the lips. And again, the price point comes into the picture, which is what this entire video is about. And uh, I feel like that plays a huge role in how these two do with each other for this pair. <laughs> For a pair of red now once again I have the RMLL from MAC this is in the shade Dance with Me and then I have Maharani from Nika Beauty over here now these two have a beautiful color competition going between them and all of that but in terms of texture this is naturally a little bit less pigmented than this one the RMLL series is really serious about its pigment 
Having said that, again, this dries down just a tad bit towards the end of the day. It has a very beautiful matte finish. So I, it does have that slightly uh, drying factor if you've not gone and completely prepped. Whereas this baby here lasts really nice and long and doesn't really need any prep but lasts really beautifully too. On to some pinky peachy nudes now. I have a lip cream here from Tarte in the shade TBT which has a lovely almost minty fragrance really I have to put out there. And then I have Traffic Jammin from So Creme from Nykaa Beauty over here. Now this is a cream, proper cream. So it's not as long lasting as a liquid lipstick might be. But then this one is a bullet. It's also creamy but it's probably more long lasting than this one over here. Both the shades look really beautiful next to each other. You will see how they look as similar as they look really. And um, yeah, I'm just going to put this out there. Also with Tarte, we have an availability issue in, in, in India, which is obviously not a problem with Nykaa. So if you're in the market for something that's very pinky peachy, um, but with like a nude, almost like a minimal makeup kind of a finish, this is something you could definitely look up. Okay, so the next pair is a red one. I have the Huda Beauty Bullet Power Bullet over here in the shade El Cinco de Mayo. And the perfect dupe for that that I could find was this one over here in the shade Blessed from the Nykaa Wonder Puff series. Now, the textures are obviously a little bit different because this is a proper power powder matte sort of a finish whereas this is a little bit more tinty in terms of color there is a slight difference but they're as close as it could possibly get um, naturally the huda does last a lot longer but i feel considering the price difference and all of that you might not mind doing a couple of touch-ups with this baby over here also putting it out there that in terms of application they are very different as experiences since this one is a bullet and this one is a cushion stick so it really depends on what you're looking for, it depends on your budget, and it depends on whatever other preferences you might have at your end. Okay, we're down to the 10th and the last pair now. We have another, and that's really the last, MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Tailored to Tease. And the dupe for it is from the Nykaa Molten Matte series over here. This one is in the shade Spencer. Now the textures are bound to be very different. The shades are the tad bit different but, it, but, it, but as close as I could have found them. This one again I feel like I've talked about the, the formula and texture of this enough through this video because we had about three of them and this is the fourth. Um, with this one over here it's more of like a tint it's something that's really beautiful dries down MAC but it has a tinty finish so obviously the MAC one does last a lot longer but it depends on the kind of finish you're looking at. Again look at the multiple factors that you might be looking for. Before I end this video, let me show you a close-up of these five lipsticks as well in comparison. Just so again, the angle, the lighting, in case there's any confusion, you can take a look at them super up close. So I really hope this video has been helpful for you. If you want me to do more dupes, let me know down below in the comments. Also, let me know what other videos you want me to do for you guys because I feel like um, I'm listening to your comments, I'm reading your comments and I'm doing and planning my content calendar basis what you want. If you have made it till the end of this video, because you made it till the end of this video, there's a little giveaway for you. I'm going to be giving away some makeup products to you guys. So go ahead and answer this question. I'm going to make sure I pick one lucky winner who gets a bunch of makeup from me. Thank you for making it till the end of this video. I hope you guys have hit like on this video if you found it helpful and turn those bell notifications on. I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.